How's it going guys? JP back at you once again bringing you guys another review here on my channel. This time we are reviewing the newly released 2015 film Roommate Wanted coming to us courtesy of Lionsgate Home Entertainment. This film follows two roommates uh, who are very different. They have very opposite personalities. Uh, one is the character Janie who is played by Alexa Vega who's on the cover here who was in the Spy Kids films as of course as well as uh, Machete Kills most recently. She is sort of your girl next door, good girl who believes in true love, has very high moral values, believes things should be done a certain way. She's a vegan. Uh, she's been smart her whole life. She believes in um, you know, personality over looks. Uh, you know, all of the most cliched good girl th traits are in her. And then you have the opposite roommate who is literally, you know, a completely opposite personality in the character of D, who is uh, more of your slutty, uh, once a rich husband, goes clubbing every night, uh, never had to work for anything in her life, had everything handed to her. And, you know, she is very shallow, self-centered, and she, um, you know, doesn't, doesn't need anything, doesn't want anything because everything is always given to her. And they are, you know, both on opposite sides of their beliefs, uh, but they live together. So one day Janie uh, finally gets into the college that she wants. Uh, she gets a, a scholarship that is um, paid, I believe, half, but she has to come up with the other half, which is like $58,000, uh, and she feels like she has no chance to get it. She decides to sell her eggs um, to a couple in need. And that's when uh, she and the character of D start interacting, and they have these snarky little things they say to other to each other because uh, Janie Janie is you know kind of a bitch because even though D is shallow and self-centered and all of that stuff, she's also sort of uh, you know ditzy to where maybe she doesn't realize that she's coming off like an idiot and a, and a bitch sometimes. So Janie um, gets frustrated by that and you know often calls her on her bullshit or has something really negative to say um, when sometimes D who is just trying to kind of be friendly. So uh, Janie kind of pisses D off and D goes to the extreme because now D wants to steal uh, the you know, job opportunity, the, the income opportunity from Janie and sell her own eggs. So they start competing at this and it all kind of culminates into the biggest cat fight there could possibly be. The most crazy cat fight. Uh, you know, this film is kind of, it's, it's definitely not a horror film. It's more of a thriller. But it, it's 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 also like a, a comedy. It, it's very quirky and it has this odd sense of humor. If you just want to see two people hate each other and just do whatever they can to, uh, you know, make the other suffer, this is this is the film. I, I mean, it's it's a very interesting dynamic. You sort of just have these two girls who are completely different, trying to coexist in this, uh, you know, one house and they hate each other and they take it out take everything out on each other you know they get under each other's skin more than uh, anybody they've ever met in their lives uh, they each have sort of their own positive things about the way they are and negative things although Janie is sort of more the lead character she definitely has flaws and they are exposed in the film overall I mean I kind of liked this film quite a bit. I mean, I thought it was a lot of fun. It was like this spy versus spy mentality where they just start, you know, uh, coming at each other and it, and it just gets, you know, more crazy and more crazy as the film goes on, uh, what they're doing to each other. I will say one issue that I had was Janie is supposed to be the girl next door who is, uh, you know, doesn't care about beauty and D is supposed to be the, you know, super hot slutty girl. But I found you know, Alexa Vega to be 
just light years ahead of uh, D in the beauty department. I mean, she is obviously the more attractive girl. Um, so that was kind of a bit of a weird situation where it's almost like their personalities didn't really fit, but or, or their looks didn't really fit their personalities, but at the same time, Alexa Vega does do a good job pulling off the girl next door vibe, it's just that the character, the actress they chose for D, I don't feel like did the best job in portraying, you know, the super hot slutty girl either. I mean, the stuff that they are doing to each other gets so over the top. They are literally trying to destroy each other at one point. Uh, it's very funny. It's kind of quirky. It's ridiculous. It's over the top. But when it's all said and done, it was kind of enjoyable, and I did laugh, and I was kind of interested in their uh, stupid dynamic. I think it played out very well. It was pretty predictable, but at the same time, on a, you know, scene by scene basis it keeps you entertained the whole time overall it's a fun watch it's definitely worth the rent i give roommate wanted a six out of ten